Hey, I'm Tracy Bear, hanging out at the Young Hollywood Studio with Matisse Yahu. You're, you got a really interesting story. You're a Hasidic Jewish rapper. <laughs> Tell us how you got to where you are now. My whole life. Your whole life. <laughs> I was really raised like most American Jews, relatively secular. I went to Hebrew school and I just uh, didn't really feel like how it was all that relevant to my life. So when you went to Israel though, what, ex what made you kind of really appreciate your religion or appreciate your upbringing? And now well, you're obviously, you're Orthodox, so how did that change you and how did it influence, you know, what you sing about today? Well, basically then, when I was, there was a few like main things that happened for me, I guess. One of them was like my introduction to music, to reggae music and music in general. And I guess when I was about 14, I started listening to music and I started to sort of um, like think more about spiritual, you know, things that music opens you up to, spirituality and God and perspective of things. And when I was 16, I went to Israel and I was like looking out over the old city and the sun was setting. And then I felt there for that, in that moment, I felt in an emotional way that idea of history. For single One Day, one of my favorite songs in the whole world. If you haven't heard it, you have to listen to One Day. And Akon, you know, was part of that. But how did you get into, you know, rapping? Because most people wouldn't put together an Orthodox Jewish person with a rapper. I grew up in the in in the in pretty much in the '90s, in time when everybody was listening to hip hop, when hip hop was really exploding. I was not like into it. All my friends were, and I was kind of like listening more to like hippie music or whatever. But basically I, I would beatbox for people like when we were at parties or whatever. People would rap and freestyle and then I would beatbox. I learned how to do that because I didn't really play an instrument. And, but, I, but I was very musical and I loved music. And that was like my gateway into, I guess, hip hop. And then there was one, I remember the first record that really turned me on to hip hop music was, um, it was written by Nas. And then I actually started writing, writing lyrics and writing rhymes and stuff like that. So Austin is a huge place for you because you recorded your first live album there live at Stubbs, which was one of my favorite places ever in Austin. And you're about to record your second live album. Yeah. For, I mean, the next few days. So what made you want to go back to Stubbs? Do you love the venue? Was it just the experience recording live in front of an audience? What made you decide to go back to Austin? What is it about Austin that you love? Well, because live at Stubbs is like a thing. I mean, most people, when they make a live record, it's like an afterthought and they don't sell a lot of live records. Right. And for me, like, we got really, we were really blessed and that the first record that I made was live at Stubbs and was a live record and that's the record that really like kind of blew up and made me, you know, a known entity or whatever. It's like a return to like the roots or whatever, a return to like the first record that I made. I'm excited to hear what this album's going to sound like. Yeah, it's going to be a little different.